I am liking what he's done because I'm going low and slow and I just found a coin here and I'm really surprised it's right here I get you in the frame right there that's a silver silver coin what are you gonna be Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day out here, man. It's about well, 55 degrees. And I got my grandson with. Hello. <laughs> out here digging alongside this road. Uh, there was an old coin that was pulled out by Mike last year. An 1865 two-cent piece. I found a silver on here. Mercury dime. Here I got a deep coin with the manicure. And that's probably about five, six inches deep. And there it is. I think it's silver. I'll let you listen to it real quick. Eh, I don't know if it's silver or not. But I think it's a silver. Oh, it's not a silver. One of those things. I don't like them. Here you go, you want it? Yeah. What is it? Oh well, that's how you find coins. But that is not a coin. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> um, I got something here that I absolutely love and he saw it <laughs> when I made it fall out, but I put it back in. And he said, well, oh, Grandpa, it looks really cool. Yeah, it is cool. Look at this. Right here. I see a shank poke, poking up at me. Yes, sir. Great seal button. That's old military. Not super, super old, but World War One, two, somewhere in there. This could be World War Two. It depends. Shanks intact. Love finding these. They're ringing up about 82. Awesome find. What do you think of that? Really great. <laughs> well, I come to this field not much after that uh, that button. It's been it's, it's afternoon time. Dug a lot of junk. Uh, you see all this stuff that he raked up here. Uh, I don't know when this was done late last fall. Don't I don't remember this being here but uh, I Am liking what he's done because I'm going low and slow and I just found a coin here and I'm really surprised It's right here if I can get you in the frame right there That's a silver silver coin What are you gonna be? Oh boy, it's worn, super worn. Is it a barber? See the, I don't know what this is. Oh, I see a date. It's a barber, I think. Let me spray it off real quick. I'm gonna give it some TLC. Not what I thought it was gonna be, but it is a Merc. I think it's 1919. Don't know if it's got a mint or not. It's super worn for its age, but still a cool find nonetheless. Moving on. All right, working a line here after that merc time. And it looks like here I got a, a scutcheon piece, a, a lock of scutcheon. First time I've ever said that word. 
But I guess that's what they are. Ornate and beautiful. I don't take that home display that. That's pretty. I hope I can only find a key for it. All right, moving on. Well, this is where I got the uh, 1883 Morgan Dollar here last year. And I got the Manicore today. And uh, it's paying off already. I got a deep squeaker here. And I got roundness. What in the world is that? Oh, it's a token. One cent and trade. Yeah. Oh, CJD bold. But a tiny one cent. I've never found one of these. One cent and trade. Angle system. See CJD bold at the top. Go cool find. Let's see what else we can get here. Just starting off. Well, I haven't been here in a long time. It's the old 1906 church. Used to have picnics right back here in this field. And I found a lot of old coins and relics out of here, including gold. I'll show you what I just got here a little bit ago. I thought this was gold, but I don't think, I don't think so. It's got, uh, here, let's turn it that way. It's got a moon and a lady. If you focus. That's very cool. So I'm just kind of roaming around here in the picnic spot. And I got a 58. And I said, you know, that's got to be close to Indian numbers. Got a coin. Yes, sir. IHP. Pants rub quick. Ooh, 1904. 1904 Indian. Head penny. Indian head scent. Eh, probably gonna have to work on this. Got a little bit of corrosion on her. But still, awesome find. Love finding Indians. Alright, moving on. Well, good morning. It's uh, Friday something. I don't know. I think it's like uh, the 26th of April. And I'm out here in Ghost Town number two. I don't like to tell everybody where I'm at. Um, I've been here before. This on the other side of the fence is Deepfield and the old road Main Street ends, ends down there goes by uh, First diggle signal here this morning you can see it there right on the plug I uh, Rang up I think it rang up about 80 82 and there's no doubt in my mind that that's silver because I already looked at it And this is sterling Right there. Sterling. I don't know what it was. Another piece of scrap silver for me. I'm up to 80 grams of sterling. That's cool. I'll keep that. Hmm. All right. Let's see what else we can get. We're just starting out. All right. Out treasure hunting on the weekend. Yesterday was very rainy and I got the grandkid today. And we're at an old home site here in the ghost town. Uh, I've been to before, but of course I got the manicor. And this signal was right underneath the surface. And I'm kind of surprised at this. It kind of gave me goosebumps. But it was just right here. Here it is. Whoop. A plate of some sort. It's got a horse on it. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if it was off a holster or kids' holster or something. But when I saw that, I'm like, oh, what is this? A plate? Well, it's definitely a plate for probably stuck to leather or something. All right, very cool. Just starting out. Let's find some treasure, bro. All right, I got one here. I'm gonna do a live dig on. Oh, 
Yeah. The signal got bigger, but we'll try it. Could be a jar lid. What's it going to be? Yeah, it's way bigger. Way bigger. Jar lid, I assume. Yep, there it is. Jar lid, it's a ball one. All right, moving on. All right, I had a feeling about this place today. And uh, found some trash. In fact, we just found a bottle on a signal was a jar lid. Here's a bottle that came out of there. The top is half melted. It's an oldie. And here, 56, 58. It's right here. Coin. Gotta be an Indian ringing up like that. It is too. I will take that. Hands are up quick. A little bit rough. Looks like uh, maybe 1891. Oof, that is rough. It almost looks melted. I can't get an official date on there yet. 1901, 1891, 1881, something like that. Yeah, look at how rough that sucker is. Maybe it was in a fire. Alright, so cool find. I'm going on. Okay, I just got more goosebumps. My grandson, Lincoln, uh, pinpointed this one for me. And it flipped out. It's ringing up 82. Look at that. What is that? Is that Fraternal Order of Eagles again? It's all one piece. That's well, actually two pieces, but it's all together. Okay, it's a souvenir. Fraternal Order of Eagles Celebration. That's going in my pickup. That's awesome. Look at that. Yep. Isn't that cool? Yeah, really cool. See, it dangles like this. I'm taking it home. I'm taking it home. No. Putting it in my display case. No, I love it. <laughs> Moving on. That's cool. Buggy. Okay. Uh, not too long after that, I was actually back here somewhere. Now I got a button, and I hit it, unfortunately. Interesting. C and NW? C and NW. Yeah, I hit it right where the W is. Gotta do better than that. This looks like it's got the shank and the wire piece. I don't know what this was for, but it's very cool. It's a two piece. C and NW. Huh. Interesting. There's a shank. I'll have to look that up when I get home. Cool find. Moving on. Okay, we just had a little something to eat. Now I come back out, and I got something. Bring up 23. Not very deep. There it is. What is this? It's a tag of some sort, I think. Ooh, what's this say? Give me the pants rub real quick. Um, dollar reward, one dollar reward, return of keys, drop in any mailbox. Something registry, da 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 da. Huh. That's cool. Never found one of those before. Let it be. Cool find. Moving on. All right, we got new permission. In a different town here, not too far away from the ghost town. 
um, tearing down houses, old uh, early 1900 houses that uh, junked them out. Anyway, I'm doing this strip right here, right next to the curb, and I got a 68 signal, and I see around this right here. Token, good for five cents in trade. For what I don't know. It's pretty warm. Huh. No idea. There's a five. No idea what that is. I'll have to clean it up at home. Sweet find. Moving on. Okay, next day, new permission. Out here with the kid. Um, just come along the edge of the street here. Come all the way here. A real deep high tone down in here. I'm glad I dug it. And there it is. It's a tag of some some sort. Oh, look at there. What is this? It's a dog tax from this town. in the sun looks like looks like 1962 number 21 on the air 1962 I think that's what it says 1962 dog tax Drake North Dakota 20 number 21 on the air that's cool not very old but I'll definitely take that all right moving on well not much of the other spot just a lot of clad um, more properties being torn down, but working this sidewalk, I did get a weedy spill, about four coins back here. Now I got something real deep, and here it is. Look at that. Drake, North Dakota, another dog tax, 1945-181. I'll take that. Very cool. Love these old dog tags. All right, let's see who doesn't get in this trip.